So guys, today we are back for another video on the show today. This is the match review of Newcastle vs Bournemouth at home at uh, St James Park. 3 o'clock kick off and yeah, Bournemouth at home. Um, just going to say now, I will be at the game. If you want to come and meet us, I'll be roughly in the stadium at about 2 o'clock-ish. And if you want to, if you can't, if, say if you sit in the gallery or something, I'm roughly going to be like around in Burger King because people might think it's easy actually. I'm going to be in Burger King about like quarter past one around that time about one ish but yeah anyways for this match preview we're going to be talking about um new um newcastle um obviously bournemouth the league table and ha the team i want to see if i play but yeah let's get into it and we're going to talk about the league table so the league table how it looks newcastle sitting ninth um it's obviously not a bad position but uh 10 games one goal positive goal difference and a 14 points which is decent. Forty points is good. We look at Bournemouth. Ten point no ten games. Minus eight goal difference. Seventh point. Seven points. So if Bournemouth even draw this game, they could go out of relegation zone. If they win this game, they'll most likely go out of relegation zone. Because if they win this game, they can go to sixteenth. But look at the table. Bournemouth. We should be beating them at home. We've only lost to Tottenham at home and drew to Liverpool at home. All, all the other games we have won, and obviously apart from not including Nottingham Forest, but I mean in the, in the league. But if we go up, uh, we're going to talk about Bournemouth fixtures. Last three games, they beat Stoke two one away. Crap. And then they won Millsbrat in the AFL Cup, Carbonell Cup, whatever you want to call it, in the fourth round, and then got beat the Chelsea. So looking after that, only using on Chelsea one 0 is not even a bad result. <sighs> I'm a bit scared for this game a little bit because it's Bournemouth. They've got some decent players, Jermaine Defoe. It's gonna be scary, but I'm still going in positive. Um, from looking there, beating Stoke away is a great result. Uh, they got beat from Tottenham one one nil as well. From looking at the table, we should be beating Bournemouth. So Newcastle's last three games, Southampton two two, Palace one 0 Burnley one 0 So we drew to Southampton two two, we beat Crystal Palace one 0 and we lost to Burnley one 0 And I, I don't know why, but away from home, we look shocking. Honest to God, we look shocking. Well, at home, like mate, we're gonna win this game. We've got the Gallagher flags behind, but we want to win this. Away from home, we just don't do it. I don't get it. Away from home. The people who are spending like 60, 70 quid to watch Burn to get beat off Burnley was absolutely shocking. But ah, it's, a, oh, it's a tricky game to play, but our last three games we have got four points out of nine, which obviously isn't good. But yeah, uh, at the minute, I'm still going to positive to this game. So this is the team that I think uh, my uh, this team I want my to play. So in goal, Elliot done that wrong. Right back Yedlin, left back Mankilo. Mankilo was a bit of a fault into the Burnley goal, but the main one was Florian Lejeune. He's not going to be in the squad. He can't be. He seems he can't be. Clark and the cell centre backs. Them two holding the midfield, not midfield defence. Sorry, two centre mids. I feel like he will have to play Hayden and Shelby. Marino could still be injured. He can't play Diomi. Diomi is just full in the bin. He's not good enough. Right mid Richie, left mid Atu, Cam Perez and striker. I feel like he will play Hosselu and I feel like Hosselu can't shoot. He can't shoot at all. I don't know what it is about him. And where's Meatball again? Meatball not on the bench. I'm sick to death of not seeing Meatball. If Meatball not on the, on the bench against Bournemouth, you're going to tell Rafa's has lofty confidence, confidence with him. But I'm very disappointed um, in Meatball not being on the bench. But I feel like if he's on the bench, he'll come on and make an impact on Moscow. But, anyways, one quick thing I want to say is it's coming to um, Remembrance Day. And this will be the final home game since you can wear your belt. Right, the way your badges. So I've also got mine. This is mine off last year, um, just to stand the pop of Newcastle. But I recommend from the club shop, two pound fifty for a twenty seventeen um, badge. As you can see, hundred twenty anniversary badge. As you can see, um, two pound fifty for that. Um, I feel like you can't sell by that one, but I'm gonna wear both of these. 
So if you um, say that these are, I'm just showing me respect to the people who've died in the army, which is very sad for it to talk about. But yeah, thanks for watching the match preview, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll chat guys later. Goodbye.